guess what? It's another mailbag time. So, there's a couple of interesting things this time. Um, first of all, uh, I know what this one is. Because, oh, hang on. Where's my, where's my scissors? So this one, um, uh, that was pretty obvious what it is. This one comes from High Five, which is a Kickstarter I backed. Yeah, so this one is really exciting because um, it's basically an Arduino, but it's the fastest one on the planet. Uh, it's High Five. Let's have a look at it. Nice. It's basically a standard Arduino format, but it's the risk processor on here that's really cool. It's 320 megahertz. It's probably the fastest one you'll ever see at the moment. Um, except, you know, 5 volts, 3.3 volts, both tolerant, 19 GPIOs, 16 meg uh, SPI flash. Really nice. Nice little board. I can't wait to get stuck into this one. <coughs> uh, so, what do we have next? So, another exciting one, uh, which is, uh, it's pretty obvious what this one is. So this is the uh, Omega 2, uh, which is a follow-up to the previous Omega. Uh, this one has, um, it's a 580 megahertz CPU, 128 megs of flash, 32 megs, sorry, 128 megs of RAM, 32 megs of flash, uh, SD, uh, Wi-Fi. So I, you can see I actually ordered a whole bunch of these uh, because I've got a really uh, good plan for these. Um, What's this one? Expansion dock. <clears throat> so I backed, this is the Kickstarter, I backed um, the Omega 2 Pro plus all the expansion docks. Oh, it's just a plain expansion dock. Uh, GPIO expansion dock. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's power dock, expansion dock, uh, OLED expansion. Oh, nice. nice little OLED. Cool. Oh, excellent. Uh, was it OLED expansion, uh, mini dock, um, what's this one, Arduino dock, and I got a whole bunch of Omegas too. So I got uh, two Omega 2s and three Omega 2 pluses. So this is the Omega, Omega 2. You won't see much difference between the Omega 2 and the Omega 2 plus on the outside. Um, nice little board, that looks really cool. I really can't wait to get stuck into this one. I've got some really nice projects lined up for this. Excellent. Ah, <laughs> that's good. It's like all my Christmases have come at once. All right, uh, and really, look, the other other remaining ones, other remaining ones are pretty boring. Uh, well, actually, no, no, not this one. This one's actually quite good. A company approached me um, last year sometime and said, can you review um, this monthly um, subscription-based electronics club? So that's what I'm doing. They sent me uh, two different uh, monthly subscription packages, uh, one being the advanced and one being the beginner. So I'll be reviewing that. Um, so this is Tron Club. Uh, I've yet to review it, so I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what they're like. You'll see a review of that coming up shortly. Uh, comes in a nice little kit, and I gather that you go online, download, uh, have a look at what their project is. They give you everything that you need, um, breadboard, and all the components. I'm not sure if this is advanced, the beginner's kit. I'll soon find out, I guess. Um, so that's one. And then this is the other other package. <coughs> Let's have a look. Um, uh, okay, so this is the beginner kit. So the other one was advanced, this is a beginner kit, and so it looks like they've got oh yeah, motor in there. Um, oh yeah, it looks like we've got a little MOSFET, I guess. MOSFET, a little couple of transistors, a little, I don't know what that is, maybe it's a pick. Oh, 555 timer. Nice. That'd be a nice little setup. Maybe it's you set up to turn the uh, motor on and off at predetermined times or something. Or oh, LEDs as well. Nice. Okay, that'd be good. Uh, it'd be good to review that one too and see what they like. 
Um, okay, and then uh, lastly, I'm actually I'm not sure what these are. Hmm, what are these? During my studio reconstruction, I wanted to be able to place the camera uh, without having to reset things up every time. My old studio was hopeless because I had to um, pack things up, reset things up, and it just took far too much time. So the whole goal, yeah, this is it. The whole goal of these is that I'll be able to mount my camera permanently, uh, mount this base plate permanently on my camera, um, and then chuck this onto various positions around my, around my studio. It's pretty basic. Chuck this on, like this. Got to make sure it's square, eh? Chucked it on like that, and then it clips out like that, and then you just chuck it in, and it self-locks. So it's a nice little quick release mechanism. Really good. These cost about a tenth of the price of the real McCoy. So, um, <laughs> So I bought uh, three of them, I think. I think this should be this last one should be the other one because I wanted to try them out. And if they were any good, I'd buy about a dozen. They were that cheap. I think they ended up being about five bucks. I think I'm not sure offhand. Um, that's probably the last one, yeah, the last one. So nice, dude. Great little units. All right, so there we have it. Um, we've got the the Tron Club. Uh, onion and uh, high five and these little brackets. Excellent. So keep an eye out for the uh, videos coming up on my channel.